All right, thanks for watching. And today I will talk about one of the most important, if not the most important mathematical proof techniques called induction. And I will illustrate it by showing that 1 plus r plus r squared up to r to the n, it's simply 1 minus r to the n plus 1 over 1 minus r. So the sum of the first couple of terms of the geometric sequence is that. And I want to emphasize, um, you can show this directly, no problem at all, but I really want to show this using induction. And without further ado, let me state what induction says. So suppose, so let Pn be a proposition. Be a proposition like the following one that depends on n. And suppose we can show the following. First of all, the first step is true, so P1 is true, and if one step is true, then the next step is true. So whenever Pn is true, then the next step is true, Pn plus 1 is true. Then it turns out uh, Pn is true for all n. And let me illustrate this a little bit. So I like to think of induction as climbing the rungs of a ladder. So suppose you have a ladder full of propositions. And you know the following thing, namely, you can climb to the bottom of the ladder. So you can climb the first rung, and whenever you're at one rung of a ladder, you can climb to the next one. And by the way, of course, at the top there's pi m. Uh, then it turns out you can climb all the rungs of the ladder. Why? Because first of all, you can climb the first rung but then by the second proposition, you can go to the next one, then you can go to the next one, then you can go to the next one, then you can go to the next one, and really reach all the rungs of the ladder that way. So for instance, if you super Mario, it's a me, Mario, then you can really climb all the rungs of the ladder until you save Princess Peach. I know, I have horrible uh, drawing skills, but... That's sort of the way it is. And by the way, if you watch my previous video on the natural numbers, then you should really compare this to the axiom of induction, which basically says the same thing. The axiom of induction says, if one is in your set, and whenever n is in your set, then the next one is in your set, then your set really has to be the all of natural numbers. It's really similar and, in fact, identical in some sense. But again, this is not why we're here. Today we're here to really solve this problem using induction. And so let me show you how to do this. But I really want to emphasize, this is an upper division math class. Unlike lower division math classes, we don't just care about the results. It's also important to write down your results correctly. So in what I'm going to write down, every single step is true. It is true and more important, every single step is important. So really make sure to write down every step. Otherwise, you'll lose point on the exam and you'll be very sad and a bit shocked. So I really want to emphasize from now on, every be as thorough as you can. So if you want, here's a little motto, when in doubt, write it out. So, okay, how do we start? You have to write your proposition. So let Pn be what proposition? Well, this one. Namely that 1 plus r plus r squared plus dot 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 plus r to the n, it's 
1 minus r to the n plus 1 over 1 minus r. Then you have to show the base case first, which if you want, you can show the case n equals 0, or since we're talking natural numbers, let's do the case n equals 1. n equals 1. And now let's think about what n equals 1 means. It means just the sum from 1 up to r to the 1. So all you have to show is whether or not 1 plus r it's the same thing as 1 minus r squared, so 1 plus 1 is 2, over 1 minus r. And then, so what is this? So 1 minus r squared over 1 minus r, well notice the top you can just factor out. So this becomes 1 minus r over 1 plus r over 1 minus r. And notice they can cancel this out, how nice, and indeed you get 1 plus r. So in other words, the base case is true, and as Megan Trainer says, it's all about the base, and that's why it's true, and we can move on to the inductive step. So this is typical, the base case is usually not the hardest step, but sometimes it can be. And now let's move on to the inductive step. The inductive step is very paradoxical. What it says is, magically assume that your result is true. So, inductive step. So suppose, Pn is true. That is, namely the sum from one up to r to the n, it's 1 minus r to the n plus 1 over 1 minus r, and show that the next step is true. It's true. That is, what does that say here? Namely, the sum up to r to the n plus 1, so the next step, if you want, to the same thing but you replace n by n plus 1. So be very careful, it's not r to the n plus 1 anymore, but r to the n plus 1 plus 1. So r to the n plus 2 over 1 minus r. And here's the important thing about induction. It's really recognizing a pattern. In other words, do you somehow see 1 plus r up to r to the n inside this sum? Well, hopefully you should, because notice 1 plus r up to r to the n plus 1. So the sum up to n plus 1, it's really the same as the sum up to n plus r to the n plus 1. So in other words, this stuff that we know is true is somehow inside of the more complicated stuff, and that allows us to use our inductive hypothesis, because we know this is equal to the simplified term. So what we know, maybe let me erase this as well, so by the inductive hypothesis, we know that this is 1 to the r to the n plus 1 over 1 minus r plus r to the n plus 1. And again, it's very important to write down by the inductive hypothesis, otherwise you will lose points. Because it's very important to show where you use your inductive hypothesis. And then 
The rest is just some algebra. In other words, what we want to do, we want to write, you know, write this on a common denominator to make a 1 minus r appear on the denominator. So this is nothing else than 1 to the r to the n plus 1 plus r to the n plus 1 times 1 minus r all over 1 minus r. And then notice all you have to do is expand it out. And that becomes 1 minus r to the n plus 1 plus r to the n plus 1 and then minus r to the n plus 1 times r over 1 minus r. And lo and behold, notice this beautifully cancels out. And again, there's always this sense of excitement in induction because stuff usually simplifies. And indeed you get, lo and behold, 1 minus r to the n plus 2 over 1 minus r. So the nice thing is you have indeed shown that pn plus 1 is true. And last but not least, put some sort of conclusion. So therefore, uh, Pn. So therefore, Pn is true for all n, and you get the result. And that is. 1 plus r plus dot 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 plus r to the n, it's 1 minus r to the n plus 1 over 1 minus r. And last but not least, put your box of victory because your proof is over. And again, I just want to illustrate how neat induction is. It seems weird because you're assuming the stuff you want to show, but magically it works out because you show your base case and assuming something easy, you prove something more complicated. And then you can just reiterate in this way. And next time I'll do a more complicated example with induction using some functions as well. All right, I hope you like this. If you wanna see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.